Hello everyone and welcome to Budget Life with Paula. I'm Paula and I am here to do my look into the month of November. It's the end of the year and we made it y'all, we made it. I'm thinking about 2023 and financial lessons that I have learned um, have been very helpful. And I wanna say thank you so much to this wonderful budgeting community. I have um, watched your videos and read your comments and just learned a lot this year um, about doing better with my finances, managing my finances a lot better. Uh, so let's just see what this month looks like. If you are new here, welcome, hello. We do all things budgeting, um, savings. We budget for the upcoming month. We close out the month. Uh, we do some mini savings challenges. We uh, do some cash stuffing. I have an Etsy shop. So if you are looking for some budgeting, um, let's see, tools or resources, savings challenges, saving books, savings challenge books, I have those as well um, over my Etsy shop. Those things will be listed in the descriptions below. If you are not a subscriber, you guys, please um, subscribe to my channel. I am hoping to reach 800 subscribers by the end of the year. That will be great. Um, if I can s slide over into 900, that will be awesome. Uh, that is my goal. Part of my goal for the end of the year is to reach 800 subscribers. So you guys, if you've been watching a while, please subscribe. If you have not been watching a while, and this is your first time watching my video, uh, please hit subscribe. That would really help out my um, my goal with being monetized over at, uh, at um, YouTube. And then also give me a thumbs up, like this video, share this video and comment, leave me a comment. I love to communicate with all of the people that leave me comments they ask questions they cheer me on um and i reply back so yeah you guys let's dive right into november not i'm saying november because we're still in november but this is actually december's budget and looking at december's budget i believe <clears throat> outside of last minute um oops I bumped the camera, sorry. Last minute Christmas shopping. Um, I think I'm doing pretty good with not going, not planning to go over. How about that? Not planning to go over. So a couple of things in all of my budgeting journeys, you will not see listed in my budgeting worksheets. That would be my tithe or giving, my household obligations. I. Me and my kiddos, we live with my sister. We are in the process of saving for our first home purchase. That is going very well. Check out my house binder cash stuffing video. That's with the blue um, binder. I am stuffing and saving for things in the house. Um, but you will not see my current house obligations outside of like um, the groceries. You'll see that because me and the kiddos and uh, we, we're a family. So we um, budget for that. And let's see what else. So that's the current household. My down payment for my new home purchase. You will not see that here in my budget worksheets at all. So after those deductions, we are going to see what I budgeted for going forward. Um, you also will not see my actual income. So what you'll see is what I expect to spend during the month of December. And then at the end of December, going into January, I will show you what I actually spent and what I did in the month of December. I'm hoping I'm saying the correct months here, guys. December is what we're looking at, all right? This video, okay. So we will do it like, I don't know. We'll do it like I normally do it and that's here because the actual column is gonna not have anything on there. Okay, Capital One. Capital One, um, I'm budgeting 280 for that. Um, that's mostly my subscriptions. Um, I allot myself some Etsy shop purchases, maybe a drive-thru on occasion. Um, I do have a slight balance that I am working on 
paying down or getting it paid completely, not paying down, but getting it paid completely. So um, outside of my subscriptions, I'm actually budgeting for 280. If I can actually pay more, um, then I will list it here. And probably if I have not paid off that balance, I will do basically a debt update video at the end of the year for Capital One. Capital One is my only bill outside of my student loan and student loan right now has got me on a deferment. So in next year, I will be saving up for um, payments and seeing if I'm able to make a payment right now. My focus really is on um, the house saving. So we will see where I go with that in 2024. Okay, so I kept the same 362 for Sprint. Um, it probably is a little bit more than, a um, little bit less than that. Uh, my dear friend, um, Aaron Lynn with um, Without Budgets. Aaron Lynn Without Budgets, I believe is her budget um, YouTube channel name. She did ask me about my phone bill, but I've got three kiddos, myself, uh, devices, and unlimited plans. Um, for it so i'm okay i've had pretty much this amount for years now a few years now um it has gotten less because we paid off devices however um i choose to get my kids um phones that i prefer so i'm not too upset about that i'm not upset all about that i'm used to that amount so i just want to explain that thank you aaron for um asking about that so yeah that is what we're doing for sprint health insurance is 262 that includes my dental me and the kids truck insurance is 140 i have an suv p.o box actually that's not correct my p.o box i paid so that's going to be a zero let me grab my calculator y'all I've got to adjust that. That is zero. Um, it's not due until February. And I'm not going to... It was due November. I paid November. It's due February. I am doing every three months. I am going to try to save for um, paying it a year in advance, 12 months. Um, so I need to have a envelope for that... Um, 12 month payment okay so we are going to move okay and then disney plus is 27 dollars. let me now um subtract that 65 so the actual total is 1071 1071 for bills so yeah glad i looked at that i was doing everything on the spreadsheet and then just printed it out didn't even really double check so I've got to minus the 65 at the end. I was gonna say, you guys remind me, but remind me in your mind or the telepathic, I don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. So um, I'll remember to deduct that 65 at the end total. Gas, I'm bringing it down to 400. I do have a large SUV, but the kids will be on break most of December or you know, for at least about a week or so. For December, I, I don't know if I'm keep saying November. That's because we're still currently in November, guys. But December, they're going to be out of school, so there's not a lot of back and forth. Uh, we may do some riding out, like to see lights and things like that. I do know um, in December we are scheduled to go to Disney on Ice. I don't know if you guys remember seeing my video where I talked about my teenage kids, how they still are. They want to be like, you know, I am almost, well, my oldest, I'm almost like, you know, young adult age mom. But then that's like the kid in them that want to still see Disney on ice. Um, I can't even remember which one they're going to be presenting in our area. So we, we will be doing like Christmassy things, going to get our, you know, traditional ornaments and things like that, but not a whole lot. So I am only allotting $400 for gas. We'll see how that goes. 
Food is our normal 600. I don't want to stay. Um, I don't want to stray away from that. Household, we're pretty good with household. So I dropped it down to 85. I'm hoping not to spend that much, um, but we will see. So the kids, I'm only going to give them $15 a piece this month. Um, that 45 includes Caleb's haircut and barber tip. I like to tip the barber. Um, so yeah, I'm only going to give them because Christmas is, is in this month. So I am giving myself $50. I need to do some self-care things for myself. Uh, the stock up items, household, household pantry and meat. We'll be getting uh, $10 a piece. Sorry, guys, I heard a thump outside. And so I try to make sure everything's okay. This is a total of $1,240 um, for variable expenses. Sinking fund. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to budget anything for coming soon um, this month. Just to give myself some extra spending money for last minute stocking stuffers or things like that um, that I want to do. So I'm not budgeting anything. If I have any extra, I'll put it in for that binder. I'm only budgeting out $12 for holidays and events binder. That's for 2024. My long-term binder, I am planning to stuff $50 in that because that's where my cash emergency fund envelope is. So I want to make sure I do that. Lauren and the, I always forget this, and um, the future envelope binder. I'm only allotting $15 there. So that's a total of $127 um, the month of December. Buffer in the bank will get $30 is what I'm, um, most of the time I don't use that buffer. I just let that sit. So it's it's been piling up, which is fine. Just, just to know that I have that is, is fine. It's a good thing right there at the bank and not cash. Kids bank deposit outside of their automatic deposits. I may manually just put in $30 there. Their daily, when you saw that listed, their daily is um, their daily envelopes in my wallet that I have in my purse. I um, just give them money in case they want a drive through or want to pick up something. Some Most of the time, Lauren uses her daily for gas. Uh, Jordan has saved up her daily before to get her nails done. So their savings, I'm budgeting $30. Many savings challenges, I'm only going to do 39 budget 39 this month. If I have more, of course, I'll give more in the actual. You'll see that at the end of the month. So that's a total of $99 in my sinking funds for December. Pretty, pretty tight going here. Uh, $16 in my miscellaneous category is going to go towards my special donations, the Maui donation food drive that I do um, on my shout out your shop video, my breast cancer donation and my ovarian cancer donation. Um, I'm going to give $16 for that. If I do more, I will. I forgot to include the... Um, Georgette savings book. So let me just write that in. I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to take out for that if I have any. So we'll just leave it for right now at $16. That Georgette savings challenge book comes from Marlene over at Snow Gardener 307. I will have her listed in the descriptions below. The kids will not need an expense for their monthly outing in December because they're going Christmas caroling. We um, go out and sing Christmas carols. So we won't need anything for that. A lot of times our um, families that we visit every year, most of the time they have hot cocoa for us and candy canes and cookies and things like that for us after we finish singing. So I think that is that I always enjoy that. Um, let's see. 
So let's look at our category totals. Bills we have, actually bills we have 1171 or 1071. 1071, we're gonna mark through that. We're gonna mark through the total at the end. Uh, variable expenses is 1240. Sinking funds is 127. Savings and monthly additions is only 99. And then our miscellaneous will be budgeting $16. Let me add this up really quick so you can see it. So that's twenty-five fifty-three. that I'm budgeting for, for the month of December. That's really good. That is really good. Now that I think about it, everything pretty much will be done except for my, a few of my sinking, um, sinking fund uh, binders. But outside of my um, monthly deductions that I talked about previously, $2,553 is not bad at all, y'all. Um, for me spending the month of December. We will see at the end of December how things turn out. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to zoom back out so you won't see my big, big fat hands. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for taking out the time to watch this video. This is a more, um, I call it more serious video because I like to be it, try to be a good steward over my finances and try to make sure I'm making right choices for um, me and my family when it comes down to the money that I receive. So you guys, if you have not already, don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment, share my videos. It really does help. Like I said, I'm hoping to reach 800 subscribers by the end of December. You guys have a great rest of your day or night whenever you're watching and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.